coming on any workshop is always a really inspiring experience. This is one of the first times this, this workshop has run. The idea behind it is fantastic. You know, you write a piece or a sketch, you come, you hear it, and then you make some changes. Being English or British, you know, we're a little bit separate, so it's fantastic to come to the rest of Europe. Uh, and, and, you know, see how they work at the Gulbenkian Foundation. It's really inspiring, such a lovely place. But the working space is, is beautiful, it's spacious, it's minimal. You know, that's, that's kind of the perfect place, really, for me to, to create something. There's enough space to think. Teaching is one of the most important things we can do. It's the only real influence we can have as musicians, especially in this field of uh, research music, that's how I call it, because I want to avoid the word contemporary, which sounds like an insult nowadays. So, research music means that we try to dig into, to, to find a way through the real burning matter, which is still the core of every uh, human being. As composers, I suppose one of the things we're always looking for is really good criticism. I mean, it's like gold dust. So, if, you know, just the one or two little things that you can get from the maestro, you know, that's, that's really what you take away, I think. Voices is the, the nucleus of the workshop, uh, and for me is uh, very new. First, I choose the poem. I am the escaped one from Fernando Pessoa, the Portuguese writer, and he talks about time. It's like the time uh, in, in one day, you see the light coming out very slowly and uh, this, this, this thing, very simple thing, it's, it's inspired me. Uh, so many times that uh, these op this opportunities come and uh, I think for a young composer you need to give everything. I just want to say this is a professional orchestra and they are all good players and it's a place that you can listen your music as you want to listen it. great to have such a wonderful orchestra and spend so much time on your piece, on your music. You cannot work with the orchestra like you work with the ensemble, that's the point. Uh, it's not that intimate and it's not that personal. You don't have time to go to each of the musicians and explain exactly what you want. So you have to be extremely efficient in, uh, in the way you are explaining things you want. My music is uh, very strongly connected to the Baroque music because I studied uh, Baroque singing. I came across this really beautiful poem uh, called uh, Canton de Bacci. It's very naughty, it's very uh, funny. It's a, a camouflaged poem about sex, basically. So I wanted to write something really, you know, just, just with a twist, something uh, light and funny and, and um, playful. I've written chamber music and larger ensemble works till now, but I never had the orchestra experience, so this is like my first major encounter with the orchestra as a medium. I think the forces of an orchestra really have something which you can, you can make enormous crescendi, enormous loud passages, but at the same time you can do extreme uh, chamber musical situations. Thanks to Enoa you see how actually music theatre is something very alive. It gives you opportunity to, to make a process 
in thinking about what can opera or music theatre be today? I think the uh, Enoa idea is just the beginning. I think Central is a core or potential uh, project. It should absolutely be developed in a kind of opera academy, which really would lead to physical places where you have a stage, light designing, video projections, uh, electronics, uh, a few instrumentalists, a few voices, maybe two actors, and you finally can really develop a new idea of opera. I look forward to seeing uh, an opera lab with all these disciplines uh, working together and time to do it. I would like to invite all the composers on stage, please.